Virgos. Hey, my love, love, loveies. Welcome back to another video. All right, Virgo. So, this is your nightcap, your quick read. Let me just tell you the energy that I'm picking up on. So, there is somebody in your energy field who is used to having open access to you. They used to you always answering their calls, talking to them. They used to seeing you whenever they want. They could stop by and all these things. So, now they don't have open access to you. I feel like the last thing that they did really sealed the deal on this connection. Some of them have a girlfriend now or a boyfriend now. And I feel like they're dealing with somebody. So, you're like, no. You know, I'm not, no. Nah. Like, so, yeah. You're like, you're not about to put me in rotation. I'm not even dealing with that. So, I meditated on your energy. And, yes. Let's see what's going on here. Uh-huh. Because this person is... This person is distraught. This person is really hurt by that. And I feel like with these cards that came out, I feel like this person was trying to convince you that they were all in. Look, we got all in. All right, somebody convincing you that they're all in. And maybe at one time you were all in with this person, ready to be 10 toes down in this connection. But something happened to change everything, okay? And I feel like they're also trying to convince you that, you know, I care about you. You come first. You're important, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, no. Uh, if that's the case, then you wouldn't be attached to somebody else, you know? Anyway, then we got GPS. I feel like this person is trying to come see you. They're trying to come over. They're trying to get you to come over. They want to know your location, what you're doing, where you're at. They're clocking you. They're trying to see what's up with Virgo. Where is Virgo? What's going on? They're not answering my calls. It say deliver, but you ain't get it. Like, I know you ain't get it. You ain't responding. Like, what's up? So this person is just trying to find out what is going on with you. Six, 15 at the top of this card, which is a six. Recognize victory, all in. Eight at the top of this card, the number of divinity. They trying to manifest you, baby. Okay, then we got baggage be gone. This is how you feel toward this person. You're like, just go away. I'm trying to open up my frequencies to the things that I really, really want and deserve. You are blocking me. I feel like this person is, this person is blocking you okay this person is definitely blocking you and you're just like what do you need what do you need what do you need okay um i feel like you're just trying to avoid this person at all costs you've been ignoring them and that is killing them they're just like oh my god like they know they lost a real one for real like you're not about to be in rotation for nobody all right and if you're falling for it it's gonna be um short-lived it really is because you're eventually you're gonna not be dealing with that you are very much first and you definitely need to be treated like it or you out the door. So it'll be all fun for a minute. But after that, you gone. Trust me, I know. <laughs> so silver lining. Um, you need to pay to the pay attention to the silver lining here. And I feel like that's what you're paying attention to. The small details, the things that they may not be mentioning, the things that they may be leaving out. Um, and there's a 10 at the top of this card. So end is bringing new beginnings. I feel like you're starting fresh. Because you, you see the things that are being revealed to you about this person. Okay. Yes. And then we got, I got your back. So I feel like this is a person that you can count on no matter what. Absolutely. Okay. There is a great friendship here or a good connection. Because I feel like when people deceive you or whatever, they're not your friends. Okay. They're not your friends when they do things that hurt you and deceive you and lie. And then they're trying to pretend that it's one thing when it's another. That is not a friend. Why do people say that? Like, no, that's not no friend. Like, I'll tell somebody flat out, you are not my friend. Stop it. Like, go somewhere. Like, you know what I mean? But anyway, Virgo, let's get into this message because I want to see more. Yes, talking about they got your back. Hmm. Let's see what's coming out here and how this person is feeling because they absolutely are. I feel, I'm not going to say it. I'm going to let it come out. Look, this is why temptation deception because they lie too much they play games they hide things and you're just not for it this person is trying to by any means necessary weasel their way back in why because they want your love and affection they want they love the nurturing connection and how you are they love how you treat them nobody is treating them good like you treat them they can't find a good replacement i'm telling you this person tries some for some of y'all this person tries to keep quiet but look who's here uh, warning no they're like uh-uh this person cannot be trusted we want you to get this person out of your energy we're trying to push you in the right direction so you can get the things you deserve don't pay this person any mind look 
your ancestors not playing with this person. They're like, if you don't get your... Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, look. This is what caused it. They was hot. They hide things. They're sneaky. You know, and I feel like they're also a cheater. Like, it's just like, you're like, enough is enough. Let's find out, Spirit. Show Virgo how this person is feeling. What's going on in this energy with Virgo and this person? What does Virgo need to know? All in. Separation. They want you to be all in. Look, they're longing for you. They want you back. They want you. They want you to open the doors back up. Give them access again. They used to have an open access, baby. You said not no more. Access denied. Okay? Yes. Access denied. Let's see what else. What else is here from my Virgo? Uh-huh. Endings bringing a new beginning. This relationship, your connection is transforming. All right? It's coming to a close. Like, you're not dealing with this person anymore. It's like, you moved on, so I'm accepting that. Why can't you accept that you moved on? Like, you don't need to be trying to come over my way if you already have somebody right i feel like that's what you're telling this person and you're trying to push this person away because it's like no and then they had the opportunity to choose you but i mean i feel like time didn't present it but for whatever reason they didn't so you're just like no like not you not you went and got a relationship and then came back and tried to make me a third party like who does that right they did wrong if they think my brother was gonna fall for that i got your back Higher self, your ancestors, guides, okay, have your back. Spirit has your back, okay? And you're elevating here. So this person loves to see you grow. They love to see what you're doing in your life. They really care about you, you know? But they're just, they have their priorities all mixed up and they're a cheater. They just, they trying to suck you into their whirlwind and you're not for it. You're really not for it, okay? Um, but yeah, this person um, has your back. They really, I really feel like this person would give you anything, but the thing is, I mean, when you wanted their heart, they didn't. Because I feel like you did want something with this person at one time. And I feel like this person did want something serious with you. It's like you guys take turns not being ready. And so, in the midst of all that, relationships happen. You had your opportunity when you were in a relationship as well. This is somebody that's been there. And this is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, somebody that wants this passion to start with you. They're like, let's change things. Let's start. Let's do something. You know, they want to get to know you on another level. They want to come out of this friend zone box and do some things. But you're wondering the whole time, how are you going to do that if you're not available? This person not available. They And they re look, silver lining. This person is in baggage be gone. You feel like this sexual connection between you and this person is a bad, it's a burden. It's like excess baggage. I feel like this person has excess baggage. You're like, get rid of that and then you can come. <laughs> and they feel bad about it. They feel sad because I feel like they can't just walk away from something. Some kind of situation that they have, they can't just walk away from it. So yeah, they feeling bad about it. Fears and limitations, they're scared to walk away, feel like they're going to be lacking or they're going to be in poverty or some type of season of um, lack or not having whatever they need, something like that. Yeah. So I feel like it's a situation that they may be stuck in. Uh-huh. Yep. And they're guilty. Look at this. They're guilty because they feel guilty, right? Because look, you're healing. It's a lot of things that you've been healing about yourself and they see that and um look celebration abundance gifts so i feel like they give you things maybe this person is bringing you something else um but they want to celebrate with you they want to come together they see you've been healing this person has has been going through things they may be healing too but i feel like with you you're their comfort that nurturing card that we just saw i feel like that's what you give this person you're a great nurturer to this person and they love you for that you make them feel better. They regret not forming a solid foundation with you. I feel like this is what they've been trying to work on. Some type of structure in their life. And forming a solid foundation. Because they they feel guilty for sabotaging this connection. They realize that they should have came to you. They should have built with you. They should have invested in you. All right, Because now they can't stop thinking about you. They cannot shake you if they try. This person is so much energy here. Of this person wanting to come around you to you 
they want to be with you okay they want to be intimate with you too like they really really are yearning for you a lot they want you okay so let's see let's see what else this person wants to say got the fears and limitations at the bottom of the deck this is how they're feeling right now let's see what else comes out spirit show virgo what else is here it says the door is open. Go for it. Take a leap of faith. They're ready. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, but they, for some of you, they might be ready. But for some of y'all, I feel like this person is tied down in a situation already. Yeah, I feel like they're already doing something. I feel like if the door is open for anything, it's open for a good time. You know, like you can get together with this person, maybe hook up with them. But I feel like they actually are showing you how they feel, though. For some of you, you probably have met somebody, but there is somebody that wants you back and you close the door. Okay. This one just flew out anyway before I even got a chance to shuffle. So let's see what comes out. Let me talk to the cards at least. Look, there we go. Some confusion. What did I do wrong? I don't know what I did or how to fix it. So there's somebody that is just totally confused. They want to know how to make things right with you because they care about you. They don't want you to just leave them, okay? And I feel like that's what you're on the verge of doing. For Virgo, show Virgo what they need to know about this energy, please. You're special. I love the way you treat me. Your actions speak. So I feel like this person feels your love through how you treat them. They know. And this is hard to shape. This is hard to deny. You know, this person, it's hard for them to deny you. They know that you love them. They know that you care about them. You know, and this makes them feel so elevated, so much better. Um, they feel like your relationship is evolving. GPS, they want to come to you right now. They want to come to you. You know, they may have called you or they're going to text you. Okay, with this GPS that's on your phone. So I feel like they're going to reach out. I feel like this person could be driving and thinking about you or something like that. All these popped out. So relocating in the reverse. So this person can't leave right now. I feel like this person can't move right now. Move into another city or state. New scenery, new area. So I feel like this person can't move right now. And if you guys are thinking about making a move now, just wait a little while. Wait a little while longer, okay? But yeah, we got relocate. We got heart locked down. I'm not open for love, but when I am, you're going to need the combination. <laughs> so this person is like, I'm going to run right to you as soon as I'm free. Exciting times. You make me happy being with you. I can be myself with you. So this person really cares for you. This is so sweet. But it's so sad. And this is why they have your back. Higher yourself because you're elevated. You love um, with your whole heart unconditionally. And they love that about you. Your love. It's like they can't replace it. This person that they're with. For those of them who are with one person or in a relationship. It's not the same. Baggage be gone. Fire. Ace of Wands. What's happening here? Drama. It says petty arguments, wanting to be with you, rushing, give me time. There's no one else. So that's for some people. Somebody is saying that there's no one else. But for somebody, I mean, overall, I feel like this says moving too fast. So there's no one else. I feel like there's no one else that can replace you. For some of you, you dropped somebody and they wanted to move forward with you. But they're trying to tell you that there's no one else in their life. They don't want you to think that there's somebody else. There's nobody else. They just don't want to move so fast. Somebody here needs to take their time. <laughs> I feel like you walked away from this person. Like baggage be gone. Like I don't want to. It's like you got baggage. I'm not trying to get with somebody with baggage. And this person is trying to convince you that they don't have baggage. That's a different energy. Okay. That's somebody else. That's not the same person. Okay. Hold on. I dropped cards on the floor. So there's a need to use your intuition. I got the intuition card down here. Hold on, Virgo. Almost. Okay. All right. So I have the intuition card, I think. Let me see. Oh, no. It's the yearning card. So somebody is yearning 
This is another yearning card. They really want you. They looking at your picture. says missing you. Thinking about the good times. I've never had someone like you. They miss you a lot. And then, yes, yeah, the past. He's in lack or she's in lack and suffering. Then it says self-love. Treat yourself. Take yourself out of the date. So pampering. And then sympathy. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. So this person may want to treat you to tr to take yourself out. They maybe want to treat you to get your self groomed or get a massage or whatever you like to do. This person says they want to make sure that you go out. They want to give you some money maybe so you can treat yourself or something like that. Wow. And then we got no more chances here. So I feel like you don't want to give this person another chance. I feel like you feel like you gave them enough chances to be with you to get it right and everything. And worth the wait is in the reverse. So I feel like you feel like it's not worth the wait. It's like, no, I don't think it's going to work anyway. You're just not willing to wait for this person. And they're so confused. They feel like they wish they know like how to fix things with you because they don't want to be in this area of rejection where they can't call you anymore. They can't talk to you anymore. It's like you shut down your love from them. They, they don't have access to you like they used to. They are tore up about it, honey. They are. Let's put your cards to the side. We're about to go ahead and get the tarot spread. Spirit, show Virgo exactly what they need to see here with this person. What's going on in Virgo's energy? Seven of Cups, there's a lot of confusion here. Also, somebody could have options. Somebody could be smoking or doing whatever. Um, somebody put something in the comments that was so ignorant, and I didn't think that was funny. I started to block you, but I gave you another chance. I'm going to say stop smoking, stop smoking Murray Jane or some stupid crap. First of all, I don't use drugs or drink. I don't knock anybody, but um, baby, no. Okay? The most I may have is a glass of wine sometimes, but... Yeah, I don't indulge. I like to keep my energy pure for you guys. For your big head tail that's talking crap in the comments. <laughs> for real. But no, for me. I just like to keep my energy pure. I like to be open. I spend a lot of time with spirits. So, I mean, I used to smoke. I smoked before. But it's not for me. And I just don't need to. It's not healthy. All right. Boom. So, yeah. Confusion is here. Somebody needs to choose wisely. Somebody could have options. Or like I said, this is the card of somebody smoking weed or just indulging in something that's take, putting their head in the clouds. Okay. What else is here? Why is the Seven of Cups here for Virgo? Guarded because this person is bringing confusion. Okay. And you're not an option. Feeling defeated. Somebody feeling defeated because you're guarded. You put those guards up. Five of Swords, this person tried to do anything to win, anything to get you by any means, even lying and keeping secrets, and you don't like that. Somebody could be feeling defeated and thinking about you nonstop. Five and the four is the Nine of Swords, so somebody can't get any rest. They're not comfortable where they are. They don't rest well because they want to be with you. Look, here they go. Coming towards you, showing you love, in and out though. But still coming back nevertheless because they care about you so much. All right. With this Knight of Cups. This person isn't able to give you all of their love right now because they're already invested. Yeah, look. Knight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. So they give you a little bit of money, a little bit of love. But the Page of Pentacles is a very, very little investment. All right. It's the little crumbs. You know what I mean? So they, hey, how you doing? They calling here and there, not really talking a lot. You know, it's not a lot going on. Um, but show us more, please, Spirit. What else is this person feeling? What does Virgo need to know? Yeah, this person is wanting to move forward with you and they're heartbroken. Somebody is moving forward away from heartbreak. Somebody's taking control. Um, and they feel heartbroken. Why is this three of swords here? Because I feel like they're suffering. They're suffering. Look, because I feel like this is them and they're heartbroken. 
because they made they feel like they made the wrong decision. They want the will to turn in their favor and they want justice. Right now, the choice that they had is not a recognized victory. The person that they chose, I feel like this water sign breaks their heart or hurts their feelings or they, they talk to them so bad with these swords, this communication or mental, okay? And I feel like when this person speaks their mind to this person, it breaks their heart. And this person could be dealing with a cancer or water sign. Um, but the chariot, yeah, this person, you're moving away from this person with the chariot card and they're heartbroken. Maybe they want to come and see you or come towards you and they can't. They want justice here, but this is karmic. Look, both of these is karma. Karma and karma is for this person to get their heart broken. Or you, if you deal with this person while they're dealing with somebody, you're going to bring karma on yourself. This person is thinking about you, this fire sign energy. So we got the page of cups, the page of pentacles, and the page of wands. Um, somebody wants to come and bring, I mean, we got the, that's the knight of cups. All right, so I feel like somebody definitely wants to come in and talk to you. Um, They're thinking about you heavy. And I keep saying that because it keeps coming back. Let's get some, what, see what this person wants to say, and then we're going to close the reading. Yeah, we got the yearning card over here. It fell on the ground. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's what I got. Let's see what's at the bottom. Yep, look at this. They're thinking about you so much. They think you're amazing. <laughs> let's see what this person wants to say and then we're gonna close the reading spirit show my virgo how this person is feeling towards them and what they want to say what's this person feeling what does virgo need to know about this person go ahead speak now i'm not ready secrets and deception hold on let's see what else comes out bottom of the back i have sexual fantasies about you page of wands energy <laughs> ace of wands energy both of those are here so let's see there was someone interfering in our relationship so there is some type of third party here reminiscing about the good times and thinking about you and how you love them i'm not ready not ready for a serious commitment right now with you secrets and deceptions are here because they have feel like they have to hide things because they care they don't want to hurt your feelings some people don't realize that that hurts the worst finding out that you were lied to this is your twin flame you're learning and nurturing and caring for each other along this journey helping each other out can we start over? Somebody here may want to talk to you and start over with you also. This was just a fling. So somebody could have done something. You could have found out about it. You left this person alone. But this person is trying to convince you that this was just a fling. It was nothing serious. They don't want to deal with anybody. They wanted to deal with you. I feel like but this person kept that a secret or they were keeping some kind of secrets in. That ain't fly with you. You felt like the history that you had or whatever you were building or something like that, they knew you better than that. They could have been honest. All right, Virgo. So this is your nightcap reading. I love you so much. Thank you for being here with me. And I will see you again tomorrow for another video. Uh, if you want a personal reading, email me at closer, the number two, my destiny, the number one at gmail.com. All right, Virgo. Bye.